Hi, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I am going to take a look at a long-awaited uh, game. Traveler was a role-playing game in the uh, 1980s by uh, Mark Miller, and you may remember the old black books. Well, now we have this year two uh, games released. One is Traveler the Customizable Card Game, and the other is uh, Traveler Ascension Imperial Warrant, which is more of a uh, board-based game. So in this video we're going to take a look inside uh, the Traveler CCG. This is the two-player starter set. has everything you need to uh, obviously for two players to play. But then there are also expansions that you can get. Like this is the subsidized merchant deck which is a another ship captain deck. And then we've got uh, Trouble on the Mains which is a uh, expansion pack. And then we've got the Empress Marava, Marava, Far Trader. It's another ship deck. So we'll take a look at those in a minute. But first, let's crack into the Traveler Customizable Card Game Two Player Starter Set. This is from Horizon Games, uh, licensed under Far Future Enterprises. Let's see if I can get that right. Yeah, I got that right. The artwork that you can see on the cards is really nice. Uh, it's nice to be able to play in the traveler world. I knew early on that the fantasy role-playing games... I played a few when I was in high school, but uh, science fiction was definitely the way to go for me. So it's nice that the traveler universe is making a comeback. Alright, so let's see what we got in here. First of all, we have Rules Booklet 2.0, full color. This is like uh, one thing that I've heard is that like Roll for the, uh, Race for the Galaxy. There's a lot of iconography. Uh, not probably not quite so difficult, but you do need to memorize some stuff. Um, seems to be well printed, and you got the nice heart in here. The rule book comes in at 44 pages, and they made use of the back with an icon reference, so you see. Lots of different, uh, different uh, things to learn. They also put the round sequence on there, which is good, so you can always leave this open. All right, now we have a piece of packing foam. Take that out. And it comes with a nice plastic insert. Oh, and that's interesting. Well, uh, I thought we'd be doing some punching, but it comes with pre-punched, bagged markers and counters. So let's take a look at those. They seem to be, yeah, they're definitely thinner, thinner quality than you get from like a war game or most most games these days. But they are pre-punched, so that's a plus. But they're very light. Um, not a lot of heft to them, but you get several different types here. Skull. All right, and then basically the game consists of some decks here. So let's see what we got. They all have matching backs. So I assume these are going to get blended together. Make sure, like the Easter basket, there's nothing hidden underneath, and there's nothing. So let's come with, a, with an insert, which. Again, even though they went to that, that effort, um, once you start adding more cards and decks, you're going to probably want to just keep everything together. So, let's take a look. Since it's cards, let's take a look at the cards. The cards are paper. They're kind of a semi-gloss, kind of a matte finish, which I actually like. I don't like them too glossy. So, that's nice. Um... So it's hard to tell you what these are when you're first looking at them. But you can see that the artwork is very nice. Flint, an Imperial Unsavory Veteran. Alright, so my plan here is to 
learn this. This is fortunately, is this is even though it's a two-player deck, there are some solo scenarios that you can play. There's three that come in the base game, and there are several that you can download from the uh, Traveler CCG website. So we will try to get a gameplay video together. That's one deck. Now these, I believe, are the separated ship decks. And hopefully they are marked as such. So you can put them back together. So this is the Beowulf Free Trader. Free Trader Beowulf was one of the, uh, uh, was one of the ships in one of the original books um, that was, uh, um, if I recall correctly, from a hundred years ago, was um, in distress. So, yeah, we've okay. Now we got some cards here. These are different. They have a different back on them. A red back. So, not seeing any anything that uh, marks cards as being part of a certain faction like Crazy Eddie we already saw in that other deck. So definitely gonna have to do some more research here to figure out exactly. I know I've seen that card too. So um, one more when I do the uh, gameplay video. Let's just do a quick check and make sure there's no other. Yeah, these are all blue. So we'll sort through those and figure out. These look like maybe missions or goals. You can do a humanitarian evacuation or be a buccaneer or there, I don't know, we'll have to find out. So anyway, what you're going to get in the box, the two player starter decks, all the counters you need, the um, rules booklet, the three, three decks of cards uh, for two captains, there's two ships and uh, We'll take a quick look. So like these are these are additional ship decks. Subsidized Merchant and the Empress Marava Far Trader. So those would be different uh, different ships you can play against the missions. And then this one is an expansion, 60 cards, new options with specific focus on piracy and combat. Although space may look tranquil from the ground, all manner of pirates and brigands Proud the roots of commerce and captains on even the most established mains can fall prey to their extractions. So you need these with a ship deck. So black market investors, one of the cards there. Again, same art. I like that they recognize the artist on each of the cards. So you know who you're who to credit. A lot of a lot of effort obviously was put into this to bring Traveler back. Which cards. And again, we'll know more as we go play through. So anyway, that's what you're gonna get in the Trouble in the Mains expansion. The other two are gonna be two ship decks like you got here. And then the starter game, the, two, the base game you're gonna need has uh, the tokens and the uh, rules booklet. Yeah, each of the ship decks, it says come with 81 cards, the ship card, 20 adventure cards, and 60 captain's cards a quick play guide, and a card guide. So these are adventure cards that came in this set, and these each come with their own as well. So anyway, that, if you pick up the uh, Traveler customizable card game base set, that's what you're going to get. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.